then there's no time to waste. The gist of the challenge is you have to pick up this cop car and keep it from exploding because there's a bunch of enemies on the bro really. Then there's no time to waste. If you don't react to this challenge immediately, you will fail, as you've clearly seen. You have to pick up the car and avoid all these rocket launching guys. You have to fly above the street. If you try to fly straight down the street, you will die. It does not matter. The guy at the end has already f fired rockets. And you drop him the cop car off of this police department, which is just a sign that says police department. It's not actually a building or anything. They didn't even bother. So you can just throw the car in there. Just throw the car in there. You can fly in there, but I like throwing it. And then we continue on our merry adventure. The game tries to trick you up a bit by just throwing the rings around everywhere. And we can check out our amazing police DPT dipped department. I know it's short for department. But you can tell how much they really care about the law by just making it a sign. Just, they put a bizarre amount of detail into the world, and it's all empty. Like, you can see, you can eventually see houses on the ground, but they're just like flat squares. It's just weird. But speaking of weird, it's time for combat in this game. Which we're not going to do. We want to kill these guys, but combat takes forever, so we're just going to fly into them. This is how you're going to solve the majority of the combat in this game. You know, you could do one of Superman's amazing like, ridiculous punches. Like, this is how he fights! Look at that! It's like the, the best movements ever. Or you can just, like, fly into the guy. Flying is so much faster. And... You, you'll just see later on in the actual stages. It's pretty much the only way to get through the game without getting killed. Now, this kind of also affirms my little... Uh, running gag me and a couple of my friends have, that Superman is basically a car in this game. Sure, he can fly and he can shoot lasers out of his eyes, can't all cars, but he also handles like a car. All the videos you see online of people playing Superman 64, whether it's got pink backgrounds because they're running it on the emulator, or they've got the actual green fog because they're playing a real copy, a lot of people can't control Superman because it just he swings around like crazy. There's actually a trick to playing this game. And you can see I've kind of got it down pat. If you want to turn a corner, you have to let go of the gas. This is the whole he handles like a car thing. You want to take a turn, you have to slow down, hit the brakes a little, which is right trigger. And like let go of B, which is gas. Take a turn sharp, and then there you go. Plain and simple. Handles a lot better. Alright, and now for the challenge that if you saw the test video I did of this, I screwed it up. And this is one I screw up a lot, unfortunately. You have to get rid of these tornadoes by using your ice breath. Don't ask me what freezing a tornado does, I'm not a scientist. Which is blowing out these three tornadoes, keeps them from crushing all the civilians you can just barely see on the screen there. Because for some reason, tornadoes are smart enough to actually target specific people. They're nice enough to give you a power, but if you run out, it will also respawn, but as soon as you finish the challenge, we're out again. <laughs> Which doesn't really matter, because this is actually the end of the first stage. All I gotta do is fly to the end of the rings, and then we'll finally get to see the end of the first stage of Superman 64. Which I don't think a lot of you have actually seen. There's not that many videos online, actually, of people beating the game. Which is funny, because after certain people have, like, played through the game, or heard about the game, you'd think there'd be a flood of them. There's like two people maybe who've beaten this game in video format. Which, that may be doing the world a favor, to be honest. The weird thing you'll notice is that we're underwater, obviously. The, the nice wall we have here, of you can't see anything through the top or through the bottom, you can see the line splitting on the screen here. But the game actually runs smoother when you're underwater. Probably because it's not displaying all these extra like lights and polygons and everything, but the game runs a lot faster if you're underwater. It's sometimes too fast. But anything that gets through the rings faster. Water's gonna play an integral part later on when we actually have to figure out where the rings are when they start hiding. Yes, the rings actually start hiding later on. But that's not important because Superman won.
That's it. Game over right there. You show off our lovely hero's face. And then his chest. Because we're finally going to save the game. Sort of controller pack. This game has rumble support if you actually have one that works. And you can see if some of my saves. I've actually beaten this game a couple times. So we're going to save here. And that'll bring us into the next stage, which we will see next time on Superman 64. God help us all.